a sheer travel guys and bona so for today we are going to do menstruation cycle together with the hormonal control it's a grade 12 topic uh, which is done under human reproduction uh, but especially I have a face over like a of puberty so I'll do a video strictly talking about puberty so as part of puberty banyana but tomorrow I do with the but tomorrow one of the dates so here we're gonna talk about the menstruation cycle the whole cycle takes 28 days and per cycle we're going to have one ovum being released one ovum being released so uh the parents your parents will attest that uh, a normal female will die the purity for a maximum of seven days so that's on our cycle here we are going to check remember the menstrual cycle is divided into two cycles the ovarian cycle and the uterine cycle uh, as for the uterine cycle we are going to observe the thickness of the endometrial line and then for the uh, ovarian cycle uh, we are going to check the ovarian hormones that's estrogen and progesterone and then um, again we'll look at the rest so now first things first from a day zero from day zero day zero up until day seven you can check the the, the endometrial lining here it's breaking it's breaking it's it was thick it's thick here but it's becoming thin even this chula so now air yeah, water it becomes a you know very thin very thin very thin now either again or a bit thin like this oh guess what we put it wrong so this is basically because the endometrial lining is breaking, it's breaking, it's breaking, it's breaking. And as this uh, endometrial lining breaks, uh, the pituitary gland will secrete the hormone follicle stimulating hormone. And this hormone will stimulate the development of primary follicles, this follicles. You see, this is follicle number one, two, three. Uh, and this primary follicles they will secrete the hormone estrogen uh, we moved from the thickness here from day 0 to day 7 the endometrial lining is breaking and then as it breaks the pituitary gland secretes uh, the hormone follicle stimulating hormone and this hormone will stimulate the, form uh, the, the formation of primary follicles that's uh, you see these follicles and these follicles they will secrete the hormone Oestrogen. What will the oestrogen do? The oestrogen will um, thicken the endometrial lining again, and that we go to after day seven. You see, the endometrial lining is becoming thick again. It's becoming thick again, and as it becomes thick and thick and thick, uh, the prime uh, the primary follicles they mature. They mature. They mature, and that they will uh, become they will develop into graphene follicles from primary follicles into graphene follicles they will uh, develop into graphene follicles now one other this is from day zero to day 14. we have follicles secreting the hormone oestrogen so now the moment we have the graphene follicle the pituitary gland uh, will be notified to say we are now having graphene follicle no longer the primary follicle and the pituitary gland will come back again and secrete the hormone leotanizing hormone and the leotanizing hormone will um this is the leotanizing hormone the leotanizing hormone will convert the graphene follicle into corpus luteum okay it will convert the graphene follicle into corpus luteum and the moment you see the high levels of a uh, luteinizing hormone just know that we are going to have the process which is famously known as ovulation 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 we look at this portion here an ovum is being released so a process by which an ovum is being released it's known as ovulation what i got day 14 an ovum is being released day 14 exactly day 14 i am or day 15 i am chances are high 
pregnant or are conceived. Uh, this is basically because ovulation takes place at day 14, exactly day 14, half of our cycle. So ovulation is that take a place. So now, uh, really, the luteinizing hormone will convert who? The graphene follicle into corpus luteum. And what will corpus luteum do? Remember, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the follicle secreted the hormone or estrogen. So the moment the graphene follicle is going to be converted into corpus luteum, or after day 14, we no longer have follicles this side. So we expect the levels of estrogen to drop or to go down because they, uh, we have nothing secreting the, uh, the, the estrogen. Or the corpus luteum will secrete which hormone? Progesterone. And then... That it's expected that the, project, the levels of progesterone must increase. They must go up and up and up. And the progesterone will take over the functions of the estrogen. That it will continue to thicken the endometrial lining. It will prepare for pregnancy. That it will make the endometrial lining more glandular and vascular. It will make the vascular more vascular. So that it can remind you that it's going to become more vascular. So, um, as the corpus luteum um, secretes this progesterone, or uh, the, the, the progesterone is going to outsmart the estrogen and it will take over its functions. And that uh, one of the endometrial lining even more thick and vascular. Vascular. And glandular. Wait, well, one again. Mm. Yeah, this is super simple. This is super simple. Mm. Yeah, you hormones, isn't it? So now, I am going to put you short. What is this thing? It's a menstruation cycle. What is happening here? I know it uh, does not make sense to you. So, uh, to make these things make simple, I uh, make a uh, Make sense to you. We are going to make use of the mnemonic formula. Okay, formula. Lopim. The formula lopim. Okay. So, the formula lopim it helps you to memorize the whole process of menstruation cycle. Perhaps and to also uh, interpret this strategy. Hey, so whoa, it's not uh, you know my mother's time, but then you do try. Hey, well, what can I do? So the F here is for the FSH, the follicle stimulating hormone. Okay, it goes together with the, the, the O, and then O is just here to connect M for a matured, uh, matured, E for endometrial lining. Endometrial lining all for ovulation. So this interprets the menstrual uh, menstruation cycle from day zero up until day fourteen. Thus, we go to say under the imp uh, the influence of follicle stimulating hormone secreted by who the pituitary gland. Uh, the production or the development of primary follicles will be stimulated, and once it's stimulated. Uh, the primary follicles will secrete who? The hormone estrogen. Sorry, the O is for estrogen. It will secrete the hormone estrogen. And when the hormone estrogen is being secreted, we are going to have the primary follicles growing larger and larger and larger. You see, they're growing. They're getting matured. And a matured follicle is going, it's, it's called what? The graphene follicle. So you're going to see um, the primary follicles will develop into graphene follicle and at the same time the oestrogen will do what the oestrogen will thicken the endometrial lining and then at day 14 ovulation will take place and as the ovulation takes place the hormone luteinizing hormone will be secreted by who by the pituitary gland so that the luteinizing hormone can do what huh? the luteinizing hormone will convert the graphene called follicle known as our matured follicle the graphene follicle into corpus luteum and what will the corpus luteum do the corpus luteum will secrete the hormone progesterone and then 
if progesterone has been secreted, progesterone will make the endometrial lining more glandular and vascular. And then now, what are you talking about? And then now, so, Rabale a case is where fertilization can take place or are you talking Then, that's not menstruation cycle. So, again, if fertilization is going to take place, so if fertilization does not take place, uh, the corpus luteum will shrink. Can you see? It will shrink. You are going you know, after sex, uh, you see the penis uh, shrinking. Uh, so that's the corpus luteum. It will shrink. So as it shrinks, uh, it will cause or lead to them uh, uh, this endometrial line, uh, lining to break. Because the endometrial lining will definitely break. It will break. That we go back to day seven here. Or after day eight, we're going to start. Day 28, we're going to start a new cycle. That's irrevishia kamo exciting like ya grow one attack. So that's from your lobby. Under the influence of follicle stimulating hormones secreted by the pituitary gland, um, the, the, the development of follicles will be stimulated and the follicle this primary follicles they will secrete the hormone estrogen and also uh, this primary follicles will develop into graphene follicles. They will mature. And at the same time the uh, hormone estrogen will thicken the endometrial line. And that's at the 14 ovulation will take place uh, similarly or at the same time the luteinizing hormone will be secreted by the pituitary gland so that it converts graphene follicle into corpus luteum and thus the corpus luteum will secrete the pro uh, hormone progesterone and progesterone will take over the functions of estrogen and thus it will make the endometrial lining more vascular and glandular and now, if fertilization does not take place, we expect the corpus luteum to shrink. The manala shrink. And then the endometrial lining will break again. That this process is known as menstruation cycle. So now, the hormonal control. It's simple. With the revival, in explaining the menstruation cycle, what happened? Uh, in the beginning, we had the pituitary gland, okay, pituitary gland, secreting who? The pituitary gland secreted uh, the hormone FSH, and FSH did what? FSH stimulated the development of follicles. Uh, let me just write follicles. Stimulated the development of follicles. And as the follicles are forming, this follicles, okay, this follicles secreted who? Oestrogen. And what did oestrogen do? Oestrogen thickened the endometrial line. And at the same time, the, this follicles, they did what? They matured. Okay, this, uh, this is for the EL. I'll just write the EL. They matured, they became the graphene follicle. And the moment we having the graphene follicle, the pituitary gland did what? Secreted the hormone LH. And LH did what? LH converted the graphene follicle, follicle into corpus luteum. And then what did the corpus luteum do? Secreted the hormone progesterone. And what did the uh, progesterone do? The progesterone took over the functions of the uh, oestrogen where one I got or it made the um, endometrial lining uh, vascular brr where one I got never tired and then from there once this one is glandular and more and vascular or a remote track I conceive margara le heavy le chabo heva or a rawa Fertilization won't take place as I uh, explained here. This is the hormonal control. So in a way, when you are having this pneumonic, you have this. And when you are having this pneumonic, it will be easy for you to interpret this structure. So So uh, from day zero to day seven, like one, you the protein. Or from day seven to day fourteen, if you can have sex, raw sex, there is no way, Lauren, 
you are going to get pregnant because ovulation did not take place as yet. Like what? But normally, full seven days, you are not going to immediately after the birth of Jahab, to my love friend Jahab, it's in a gana. And then, Rabu Wahab, he happened nine. Rabu Wahab. And then from day 14 up until day uh, 21, up until day 21, we're going to produce a high one. But it's not recommended. The progesterone is very high. What are the vascular? More vascular. Oh, God, conceive a hard way. But after day 21, she will progesterone will drop. From day 21 to 28, oh, God, well, I love you. I can't see Chances are very low because we are now having. Uh, Possibility, I'm your shrink. I will not look at her sex. Capipi Rovage. Thank you, is thank you. So, people, uh, if I understand the, uh, any of these things, feel free to text me. And if you know people whom are willing to donate the school shoes, uh, sanitary towels, eh, uh, I'm sorry, 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 I'm sorry,